peeps welcome back to the vlog today is tuesday and yesterday was memorial day so we weren't able to get any mail no packages and we have a ton of stuff coming so i'm expecting there to be a lot of stuff so right now i'm headed to the post office because all the mail that we get at the store is currently automatically being held at the post office because typically the mailman will come inside when we're open and give us packages like that they won't fit in our small mailbox and so we have everything held, so I'm headed there right now to grab some stuff. We should also have packages coming to the house, but nothing has been delivered today so far. It's about 1.15 p.m. I don't know what time mail gets delivered at the house. I think it's like two or three. So hopefully we'll have a bunch of packages to open today. I honestly have ordered so much stuff, I don't even know what's coming. I don't even remember everything that I've ordered. Um, so I'm very very excited and hopefully you guys are as well and today's not the only day we're getting packages of course We're going to have packages for a long time So tomorrow we are heading back to the store to work on shipping out orders and then Thursday we are going out of town We're gonna be gone until Monday So I mentioned it at the end of yesterday's vlog, but if you guys place an order um I guess if you place an order before like 9 p.m. on Wednesday, we will most likely get it shipped out Wednesday evening. But if you place an order sometime Thursday between Monday, we're not going to be able to ship anything until at the very earliest Tuesday or Wednesday, potentially next Thursday. We're going to be going out of town. If you guys haven't heard, we're going to Arizona with a couple friends of ours, uh, John and Jackie. They are a couple. They are both collectors as well. Jackie finished up her GameCube set. She has a full North American library of GameCube titles. And we're going to Arizona to pick up a GameCube kiosk for her collection. And along the way, we are going to be making stops at some other game stores and seeing if we can find some stuff. Uh, Abby and Jackie, I think Jackie called ahead and made sure that a lot of these stores are open so we can go in and browse, which is going to be cool. And we're all going to be safe, of course. We have gloves and masks and all that. But uh, for today's vlog, you're pretty much just getting package unboxings. So I hope you guys are excited. I should be at the post office in about six or seven minutes. And we'll see if we have anything. Man, I don't know if you guys can see. I don't think so. There you go. There is a line of people out the door. So I'm going to be here for a while. So we only had one package there, guys. I'm expecting that the majority of them are going to be coming FedEx or UPS. So that makes things a little bit more complicated because those are not automatically held. We have to wait until they put a note on the door and then we have to call and ask them to hold it. So that kind of sucks, but there is a chance that we could get some of those later today as well. Also, Abby's at home sleeping. She really, really needs it. She not only <laughs> drove all the way across Washington State to my sister's, but <clears throat> my sister has two babies that cry and wake up at four o'clock in the morning and do all sorts of stuff like that. So Abby is very, very exhausted. So I'm gonna let her sleep as long as she wants today. Tomorrow we have to go to the store to do shipping and then we're leaving on Thursday. So today's really the only day that she can even do it. I didn't show you guys yesterday, so I guess I'll show you now. You guys can see we've done a, a decent bit of cleaning got the whole store swept and everything this pretty much just looks the same right here but I kind of finished up this um last night uh the fire marshal I believe came earlier today I'm not sure <laughs> but he's not here now um and then I also want to mention this giant Yoshi and the giant Isabel both sold on the website already which is crazy. The Isabel is a local pickup one, but the Yoshi we're shipping to, I think it was West Virginia, which is really, really cool. So if you guys were interested in those, if you were hoping to, to get one of them, please let me know in the comments because I really need to judge the demand for these because I would like to order more. They both sold really, really quickly, but we also only had one of each, but they're expensive. So if you guys were interested in those, please let me know in the comments down below. And if I if I see enough people wanting them, then I'll order more. I'm planning on at least ordering one of each again to have them. But if I see a bunch of people commenting, then maybe I'll get like three or four of each. I don't know. 
but let me know in the comments. We also didn't have any notes on the door here for US for UPS or FedEx, which unfortunately most likely means that they do not have any packages for us today, which sucks. But what can you do? Hopefully we have a bunch at home because I only got that one from the post office. So it won't be a very exciting unboxing if I only have one package to show you guys. That'd be kind of lame. So fingers crossed. I've been sitting here in the car outside of the store, just kind of looking through my emails and stuff, just kind of wasting a little bit of time, hoping that while I'm here, UPS or FedEx or something would, would drive up and try to deliver something. Um, doesn't look like that is happening, at least not anytime soon. I've been sitting here for like half an hour. Um, I think what has happened is we got this one package and this was delivered to that post office on Friday or Saturday. Um, we, we definitely have more packages coming, but I think what's happening is a lot of them are out for delivery today. And the problem with that is that they have to, they have to realize that they're holding them before they actually put them aside. So I'm assuming that we have some packages on a truck driving around the neighborhood somewhere around here. And then once they go back to the, to the post office or to the warehouse, you know, after their shift, that's when they'll be put on hold. And so we won't get them till tomorrow. I'm expecting that that's what's happening. Um, because we have another package coming from USPS that right now says out for delivery and they did not have it at the post office for me. So I don't know. I think that we should be getting at least one or two more packages at home. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually super, super disappointed because I was so excited about opening all these packages today. I am not joking about this. It was literally part of my dream. I remember opening a package in my dream. I was so excited. And it looks like we're not going to be getting a bunch today. At least we have one at the very minimum, but man, it's so disappointing. So I guess we'll be getting some more packages tomorrow, hopefully. But I mean, honestly, since we're going out of town and everything, I think the majority of the packages that we have coming, we're going to get once we get back, which will be Tuesday, you know, at the earliest. We're coming back on Monday, but I don't think we're going to get back early enough on Monday to actually get to the post office before they close or anything like that. So I don't know, it kind of sucks, but I guess let's head home. You see that guys? <laughs> I am so glad that I continued to sit in the parking lot. I'm across the street right now at a different plaza, but I saw the mailman parked over here and I was like, I bet you that's our mailman too. And so I drove over here really quickly and I caught him and he had two more packages for me. So we don't have to wait till tomorrow for these kind of small ones. We got a bubble mailer and then we got another box. So that makes me way more happy because we now have three packages at least to open. So I'm going to head home now and I don't know if mail has been delivered yet. I know it hasn't been as of like 20 minutes ago, but hopefully there's some more stuff once we get there. So let's open these first three packages here, guys. And I'm really hoping that we get some more. Um, Abby really wants NYC pizza, which is right by the store. <laughs> so she's actually going to go back and pick it up because they don't deliver. And so she's going to check the store, um, check the door to see if FedEx or UPS have left any labels. And if they have, at least for UPS, if there is one, we should be able to get it tonight. Um, typically, they allow you to pick up the same night. Um between like 6.30 and 7. So hopefully there's something and we can do that. Mail has not been delivered here at the house yet, so we might have more coming. But we're going to start with the bubble mailer, which you can tell has some cartridges in it. And I honestly do not know what's in here. I tried to look at my email just to see like if I had any tracking numbers to see what was, you know, what was on its way. But I didn't look at the items at all. So, obviously, I made the orders, but I do not remember what I ordered because, like I said, some things got canceled. So, it's kind of hard to 
remember everything because there's so many. First up, we have Razor Freestyle Scooter for the N64. It's got the Blockbuster label on it, but I mean, other than that, it's a pretty clean cartridge. And what you can do, which uh, makes it look a lot better, this little sticker residue is on, on the actual sticker. It's not on the label, um, so that'll come off. But what you can do is you can take a box cutter and you cut right across the top like that. And then you do the same thing on the back. You cut right across there. You remove this whole top piece and then you take, uh, we use goof off, but it'll get rid of all the sticker residue. And then you use it on the front over the blockbuster sticker and it will take all the blue ink off. So it'll just be a clear sticker over the label. Not ideal, of course, you'd, I'd prefer to have one without a sticker at all, but it looks a lot better when you do that. So um, that's about a $20 game, so we, we might do it. I'm not sure. Oh, awesome. We have Darkwing Duck for the NES. This is a game that we don't get too often. And it looks like just one more in here. We have Wild Gunman for the NES as well. Awesome. So, where did these come from? These came from Press Play Media in St. Augustine, Florida. So, they traveled a long way, but some cool stuff. It's just three games, but still, nothing to complain about there. Next, we're going to move on to the smaller of the two, the two boxes here. Excuse me. And this stuff, I, I've, I feel like I've said it a bunch, but... Um, the stuff that I'm showing you guys will be up on the website. I just don't know exactly when it might, it might end up not going up until after we get back. Um, so sometime next week, because we're going out of town this weekend. I've already said it a bunch, but I know not everyone watches every part of every vlog. So if you're interested in this stuff, it will be up for sale. Just don't know exactly when. Let me read this note first. This. Oh, uh, this is nothing interesting. This is a resurfacing order that we have to do. <laughs> That's not something for the store. Dang it. So we only have two packages, technically. This one is from Next Level Games, which is a game store that we have actually gone to in person uh, because they are up in Everett, Washington. <coughs> The, the last Seattle trip that Abby and I took, the last game hunting trip we took, we went there. It was the first place we stopped at. Um, I can't remember. I know we filmed there and everything. The, the lady that was working gave me permission to film. They had like the virtual reality set up in the, in the back of the store. Um, I don't remember what we got from there, but if you guys want to see the store that the stuff came from, you can go back and try to find that video. So... First up, we have a Game Shark for the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Pocket. It feels kind of loose, like. Yeah, it's just like it's coming apart, so it needs to. I don't think that's supposed to happen. It might need to be glued, but um, this was 20 bucks, and I think they averaged like 50, so I was happy with that. Save that one for a last. We have Top Gear Hyperbike. I told you guys this one always looks sun faded, and that one does as well. We have Majora's Mask, which I'm very happy to get. This is a game that we don't get in too often, but definitely not right now with um, you know with coronavirus stuff happening. All the prices are super super high, so it's it's cool to be able to restock something like this. And I'm sure once we post this on the website, it'll probably go really really quickly. We also have Parasite Eve Two. I believe that we actually just posted one of these on the website and it already sold. So we have another copy that's going to be going up. We have Resident Evil Dead Aim for the PlayStation 2. Awesome. We already have one of these in stock. I think that the other copy we have, the one that's on the website right now, might have a slightly sun faded cover. Um, now that I'm looking at this one, I can tell with that with just one of them, it was kind of hard to tell, but I think that it is. And then we have Test Drive Eve of Destruction for PS2. Not a common game here. Complete, of course. And we have two left. We have Diablo for PS1. Very happy with this one. 
This is obviously not a common game, not a cheap game. Um, so I believe we already have this. So this is going, everything I've showed you so far is for the store. But this last game here, I needed for my collection. And I have needed this for such a long time. So before I show it to you, I'm going to pick up the camera here. We're going to go into the back of the game room. This is a game that I already have the box and manual for, and I just needed the game to complete it. So let me grab it real quick. I didn't think that I would ever find this game. And I did have to pay up for it, but it was still cheaper than what it normally goes for. That is a Turbo Graphics game, Air Zonk. And here is the box that I've had for it for such a long time. Um, the box is a little, you know, little rough and everything, but a complete copy of Air Zonk is not easy to find, not cheap. So I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if we were vlogging at the point where I got this box, but I'm going to retell the story just in case. I'm sure I've told it at some point, but so we were living in the current house we're living in right now when I got this. Um, there, There is an apartment complex kind of by our house. It's not really that close, but it's it's we would drive by it a lot when coming home from different places. And <clears throat> they there's a house right next to the apartment complex where they kind of like share a parking lot almost. And there's a guy that I would always see out there like working on cars and doing whatever. And then one day he was having a garage sale and he basically took up like the entire parking lot. It's not a big apartment complex, but he took up the entire parking lot of the complex and the house with all sorts of stuff. And he was selling, you know, just having a garage sale. And so we went and <clears throat> he had like lots of electronics and stuff like everything was just in tubs. So I was digging through, you know, I found a couple controllers and stuff like that. Um, nothing too exciting, but I asked the guy, I was like, Hey, you know, I'm, you know, I think, I mean, at this point we must've been, we must've been working towards opening the store. Um, this is before the store. And <clears throat> I told him like, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm a collector. I also buy and sell video games. I'm opening up my own video game store. Um, if you have any more video games, I would be interested, you know, let me know. And he's like, you know, we just were talking about it and he's like, yeah, I mean, I think my dad has like some Atari stuff and, and PlayStation and turbo graphics. And I was like, turbo graphics. And so driving home all the time, I would see him out there and I would stop every single time I saw him, I would stop and I'd be like, Hey man, you talked to your dad yet? And like, this went on for like weeks and weeks. And he was always like, Oh no, I haven't. The guy, he was very, very nice, but I'm pretty sure he was like a former crackhead. I don't think that at the time when I was talking to him, he was like on drugs because he seemed fairly normal, but you could just tell that like he had done some drugs in his life. And I got the feeling that he didn't really have the best relationship with his dad. But he told me that his dad lived in Battleground, which is not far from Vancouver at all. It's the cities are connected, basically. The towns are connected. Battleground's not a city. But, uh, so one day I see him, I pull over, I'm like, hey man, um, have you talked to your dad yet about those Turbo Graphics games? And he's like, no, but you want to go right now? And I was like, let's do it. <laughs> so he got in the car. I know, not the safest thing, but he got in the car, uh, directed me to his dad's house. Uh, we get there, he knocks on the door. His dad's like, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Who's this? Um, the dad was super, super cool. And we ended up having to go into the backyard into like a, like one of those, um, like storage sheds that you can buy like at Home Depot, like a really nice one. And it was full of plastic tubs that were not labeled and it was just storage basically. And so we were going through, we were digging through everything and like he would find a box here with like a couple things and he'd find a box here with a couple things. We took the boxes into the house, into the dining room uh, put them on the table and we were going through everything. I was looking at everything and I was talking to him, talking to the dad. Um, it was, this, it was the dad's stuff. So I ended up making the deal with the dad, but, 
Um, I bought like a bunch of video game stuff, but I also bought like some factory sealed Monopoly games that he had been collecting, which, you know, I sold on, on Amazon. Um, but the thing was like, we didn't have, we didn't have enough time to look through the entire shed. So like we found the box and manual for air zonk, but we didn't find the cartridge and I'm, you know, I'm pretty positive that the cartridge was in that storage shed somewhere but we couldn't find it and we didn't have enough time to look through everything. So, um, I, I bought what I could and I tried to like stay in contact with them. And I got the dad's phone number. Even I texted him multiple times for like weeks and months after, and just never was able to reconnect with either of them. I don't think the guy is staying at those apartments anymore. Cause I have not seen him in a vi in over a year. Um, but it really sucks because there's an air zonk cartridge somewhere in battleground at that guy's house. I don't quite remember where it was or else I would just go to the house, honestly, and just knock on the door and be like, Hey, you remember me? But I'm really glad that I finally got the freaking card for it. And then one of the other games that I got, um, from that same deal, which was actually fully complete is soldier blade. And this box is pretty rough, but you know, I, I don't remember exactly what it goes for, but at, at the time when I got it, it was like $600 for a complete copy. And, you know, I didn't get them dirt cheap. Uh, you know, he knew that there was some value here. He didn't obviously know like, oh, Soldier Blade is a $600 game. He just knew that like, you know, video game stuff is worth money basically. So, um, I did, I did have to pay up a little bit, but it was still a fantastic deal overall. And I'm so happy that I finally got the freaking Air Zonk card for, for that box. That's awesome. There's some sticker residue on the little cover, which not a big deal. But yeah, now I have a complete copy of Air Zonk. That is super, super awesome. And so Abby's going to check, like I said. Hopefully there's some more packages. If mail gets delivered here and we have anything else, I will be sure to open those as well. And I checked... Um, because I bought a bunch of stuff from Recycle Video Games, which I've already opened everything that's come. There's supposed to be seven boxes total, and I don't remember exactly how many we've opened so far, but I didn't think it was seven. So I'm going to I'm gonna go back and look at the vlogs and count, because um, I know that I, I said it when I was opening them. So I'm going to count and see if we have any more of those coming, because if we do, they should be here today. This will probably be the last clip in today's vlog, but we did... <laughs> Get one more package, finally. <laughs> Make sure there's no addresses. We have a box. Uh, this is coming from G2K Games in Virginia. And I thought that for most of the game stores that I ordered from, except for Recycle Video Games, I thought that I had them all sent to the store. This one, apparently, I had sent to the house. So... Okay, this is what I see when I open it. There's a lot of packing peanuts. I don't have anything to put them in. Oh, there's some that box. Okay, I'm just gonna dig through. Okay. We have at least one thing that I don't think it's correct. First, we have a Dr. Mario 64. You see that price tag on there. Decent price. And then we have... I'm going to remove this one because it's right on the front. And these are all, like, shrink-wrapped. This is Raiden Trad for the Genesis. There's that, in case you're wondering. This one... I would not have purposefully ordered a disc only copy but we have the orange box in a printed cover so i'm gonna have to double check the listing because i would de i definitely would not have bought that if if i knew it was disc only but we have a game uh, super game boy there's no tag on that one here is our invoice I guess the invoice doesn't say whether that game was complete or not. This is the last thing, right? 
Okay, I don't see like any Game Boy games or whatever. There's two things in here. Oh, I remember these. I actually talked to the owner or someone. I don't, I don't remember who it was. Someone called me though because I had ordered two of these and he wanted to explain uh, condition a little bit to me before sending them. So these are two copies of the same game and they were listed on the website as complete in box. And I was like, okay, cool. That's awesome. And then, and it said they had seven available, which I thought was bizarre, but, um, I got a phone call and the guy said, Hey, I just wanted to let you know that those games are actually factory sealed, but they are like the boxes are rough. Like they're, they're indented They're He said that he thinks that at some point they were stored in a place where there was a lot of moisture. They don't appear to have like any water damage, but I guess if it was like, you know, a really hot environment, they could have warped. I don't know, but I was expecting to get just complete in box copies and instead ended up with two factory sealed copies. Now, they're not in the best condition, <laughs> but it's two sealed copies of Shadow Man for the Nintendo 64. So they both look like they have legit seals. They have like the, the H seam and all that. They also have these stickers on it. Um, but let me see if I can show, like, you can see it's kind of crunchy right here. It's like dented in and stuff. And the top, I don't know how well it'll show up on video, but it's basically like this. That's how the, the box is on the front. It like dips in. It does it on the back as well, right up here. Um, I don't really know if it, if it shows up well on camera. It's also pushed in right here. And they're pretty much both the same, except the bottom on this one is pretty nice. The bottom on this one is all crunchy. Um, but yeah, it's pushed in on the top. It's pushed in on the front. It's pushed in on the back right up here. Again, you can kind of see when the light catches it. But like I said, I was expecting complete copies. So to get them sealed, even if they're not in the best shape, is not necessarily a bad thing. So it does show on here that um, it doesn't show that the orange box was supposed to be complete or anything. It just says orange box for PS3. So I'm not sure. Um, it was only 15 bucks, and I, I'm pretty sure that the price has kind of gone up. And if we have a case for it at the store, then obviously it's not a big deal. I'll just complete it. But um, I don't know. Like, I wish that I would have known because I wouldn't have ordered it, of course. But not a huge deal. Um, so that's all the packages that we're going to have today. We may have some more tomorrow, which I hope we do. Um, but tomorrow is going to be a fairly busy day. We have, we have you know, last time I checked, about 20 to 22, somewhere in there. Um, orders to ship out, which we have to do tomorrow. And 20 orders in one day is not a huge deal. Um, but we also need to finish whatever else we have to do before we leave for our trip on Thursday. So that's going to be um, getting the orders done. Um, we have to take Abby's tarantulas to the store because Ryan is the one who's going to going to take care of them while we're gone. We're only gone for you know, five days or however long it is, four days, but, um, they need to be, they need water and stuff. So, um, instead of having, instead of having Ryan come to the house, which it's, he lives, he lives pretty close to the store. Um, so it's easier for him to get to the store than to get here. Plus he's never been here before. And it would, it would, it just makes more sense to take them to the store. Um, Abby's parents are not going to do it because they're, they don't want to mess with spiders. Ryan has no problem doing that, though. Um, so we're going to take the spiders with us. We're going to hopefully get all the orders done. And if possible, I would love to get as much stuff on the website as possible tomorrow. And then the whole time that we are gone, um, I'm assuming things on the website will sell. And then once we get back, we'll have a lot of stuff to ship out. But because we're going to be gone, I can't be putting new stuff on the website, obviously, when we're out of town. So if I can get as much done as possible before we leave, then there will be, hopefully, 
a decent amount of new stuff on there for you guys to to shop around and, and to check out um, while we're gone. And then once we get back, we'll have a ton of stuff to put up. I cannot wait. Um, I think I told you guys that last night that we made a deal for a PS2 collection from a friend, and we actually now have a second collection that we have made a deal for. And the first collection that we're getting from our friend John is all PS2. Every single item is PS2. The second collection that we're getting has a lot of Nintendo Switch games. It has 3DS, Wii U, and Wii games. So, um, there's... It's not... I wouldn't call it a small collection. It's not... It's not a massive collection, but there's a lot of good stuff. So, and then of course all the packages that we will get in and hopefully get, you know, right after we get back into town, we'll have a bunch of packages to open as well, which will include tons of other items that we're going to be putting on the website. So, uh, with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm going to, um, continue watching YouTube. I've been kind of doing that, um, throughout the day while waiting for packages. So I'm going to do that, get this vlog edited um, so that uh, we can just kind of chill and relax for the last night before, uh, well, it's not the last night before we leave, but it's the last night where we don't have to necessarily worry about getting to bed at a certain time. Because Thursday, I don't even know what time, um, Abby's the one who's been handling most of the arrangements, but we're leaving on Thursday, so that's when we got to go. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.